Hi everyone, my name is Oscar and I've been creating YouTube videos on LWJGL since 2011 and in this video I'm proud to present to you a brand new series focusing on LWJGL 3, so the new version of LWJGL. Now before I start I just want to say that I, I'm going to try and cater this series uh, both to the people who are already familiar with my channel and to the people um, who are new to LWJGL. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to open up uh, my web browser and go to the uh, brand new website of LWJGL. It's a very fancy website. And uh, click on download. And then we're going to download the latest stable version of LWJGL. Right, and when I open that downloaded file in, uh, in Finder in, on Windows, that would be Windows Explorer, then I can see three folders, doc, jar and native. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how you can set up a project um, and I'm going to do that for both Eclipse and IntelliJ. So I start with Eclipse. Yep, there we go, so just open up a workspace. So we'll create a new Java project new LWJGL Eclipse or something. Let's click finish. And then we'll drag the three folders that we downloaded into this project. Just copy and paste. Right, so there they are. And then what we'll do is we'll add the libraries by right clicking on the project, going to properties, Java build path, libraries and add jars then expand this go to jar and select the LWJGL jar so this is the central library file for LWJGL select their location we just double click on this go to workspace and select the native folder note that this is slightly different from LWJGL2 because in LWJGL2 you had to also select the platform and the architecture, but that's no longer necessary in LWJGL3. Okay, so add the native file. And then there's one last setting that we need to change because for the time being, on Mac at least, there is this bug that if you start the application, uh, it's going to give you an exception because you haven't enabled uh, the X start on first thread uh, VM option. So we need to enable that option. And the way we do that is go to run, run configurations, Java application, and go to the arguments. And then under the VM arguments, add this argument. So X starts on first thread. And now I'll add uh, the test class. Just hello LWJGL, public static void main. I'll just add the code. Okay, there we go, I've added the source code. As you can see, I'm going to uh, delve into this source code more in depth in later videos. But for right now, we just want to know whether, um, whether the new installation works. So we'll click the run button. And there we go, Eureka, the program works. And if it's just Eclipse that you want to use, then that's going to be the end of this video for you. But if you want to use IntelliJ, then um, hang on for a moment because that's what I'm gonna do right now. So my personal favorite IDE is IntelliJ. And the reason for that is um, when you're programming, there are all of these really like useful uh, tricks that you can uh, have. Like for example, if you have a, a method with like for example, um, get number of bytes and if you just press the letters G N um, B or something then you already get like the method um, as a as a suggestion which is really neat but for IntelliJ what I'll do is I'll just go to new project Java um, new LWJGL IntelliJ 
and the process is really similar to uh, uh, to Eclipse. It's just that the menu buttons are in slightly different locations. Let's see. Again, we need to drag all the files here into the project folder. So there we go. And then what we need to do is go to File, Project Structure, and then go to Modules, Dependencies, and then add the jar file. So add the LWJGL jar file. Okay, and uh, now I'll just add the VM option. And the way we do that is we go to run, edit configurations, defaults, application, VM options, x start on first thread, I think it was. Now I'll add the, uh, the file. Okay, there's one thing I forgot. You need to go to Run, Edit Configurations, VM Options, and then in the VM Options, you need to add D Java Library Path is Native. So this tells the program that it needs to look um, in the native folder to find the native files. So this is similar to what we did in Eclipse, only now um, you have to like manually write the Java Library Path option. Okay, so if, uh, if we've done all that, then we can run our source code. There we go, that works as well. Okay, um, now thanks. Now, uh, thanks a ton. Okay. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you'll consider my other videos as well, because in the next video of this series, I'm going to cover um, display, and in the third video of this series, I'm going to cover rendering. Now, if you want to have like a sneak peek at the next videos, then what you can do is you can go into the video description and go to GitHub, so click on the GitHub source code repository, and you'll find all the code for the episodes one up to including six uh, for this video series already. Okay, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.